This lesson is going to be on AUK, a field processor. Um, unlike grep, it actually will parse each field in a document on each line, where grep will return you an entire line. Now you can actually mimic grep with AUK by having it to return the full line as well. Um, let's go ahead and look at one of our files cat test.txt and you'll see here we have a couple of lines um, some with one column for instance the first line Frank only has one column the second line has testing one which is two columns then hello world test and one two three testing now let's say we want to return all of the lines using awk we just do awk space, let's do single quotes, curly brackets, close single quotes, and then outside we would just call the test file, and within the curly brackets we would just do space, print space. Now this will return every line in full. Now let's say we want to return the first column of every line. Now by default, awk separates by white space. So the delimiter is white space. So if we did awk, single quote, curly brackets, single quote, test, dot txt, now within the single, but within the curly brackets, we would just do space, print, dollar sign one. That would stand for column one. So that would return our frank, testing, hello, test, and one, two, three we could also return column two. Now even though even though we don't have two columns for every line, it would just return a blank for that line. Now if you want we could also we could also tell it just to return two columns. Dollar sign one, dollar sign two by the by separating it with a comma. And you'll see it'll put the space. Now if we didn't put a space and we just concatenated it, we would just use the dot, and you see it wouldn't have a space in between each column that we return. So also like with like grep with awk you can use regular expressions. Let's say I wanted to return every line that contains the word test. Let's just do print. So this will return us every line. Let's just run that to make sure it works. There we go. And if we wanted to have every line that contained the word test, we would just do forward slash test, forward slash space. And you'll see nothing was returned. And that is because it's being handled case sensitive. Let's go ahead and anything that contains the word test. And you'll see since it starts with T, testing and then testing here. But it did not return the other one since we would need the last letter to be T as well. Test. Now we can also use character classes. So let's go ahead and let's do from A to Z. And you'll see it grabbed us every line that contained at least one lowercase letter. Let's say we want from 0 to 9 to grab every line that contains numbers. Testing 1, 1, 2, 3, testing. You can also use the carrots to say we want to show every line that starts with a number. Or let's say we want to show every line that ends with a number by using the dollar symbol. So let, we can also do if conditionals. So let's say, let's go back one more. And within the curly brackets, we'll do if dollar sign two, or let's say dollar sign one is equal to, we would use that. Let's say we're looking for if it's equal to one, two, three. Dollar sign one is equal to 
one, two, three. Oops, sorry. Then we're going to go ahead and print the line. And there you go. Let's say we wanted to do another check to print if it started with or if column 2 was equal to a number. So we'd have 0 to 9. Oops, sorry. Yeah, 0 to 9. And you'll see it returned the lines that end with a number. Don't worry about the TX, the XT here, that's just since it, the line did not fit on the previous line, it just broke it down. Word wrap. Now, we can also pipe, use pipe to actually filter our information. So let's say we wanted to grab, let's say we wanted to parse this file test.txt. We have Frank testing one, hello world, one, two, three testing. Let's say we were looking for everything that had, let's do a case insensitive search for test on test.txt. All right, so now we have testing one, test, one, two, three, testing, those three lines. Now we can actually use the pipe to awk and say we want to grab everything that starts with the one, two, three. So let's just do this. And we'll do zero to nine, I'm sorry. So everything that starts with at least one number. And we'll go ahead and print that line. Oops, what did we miss here? Oh, nope, there we go, we're missing a forward slash. And there we go. We, d um, we didn't do that start, we only searched for any line that contains a number. So if we wanted to start, we'd use the caret, enter, and here's our line that starts with the one. Now let's say, let's go ahead and edit our test.txt. And I want to add, let's say, colons. Perez testing two, high world, OMG, four, five, six, testing. Now you see I'm adding colons between everything because we can actually override the delimiter which Oc uses by default, which is white space. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and just cat to make sure everything's okay. And we're going to want to grab the second column on the line. So let's start by typing awk and write it how you would normally. You'll see right now it's based off of the white space. So in order to override that, we'd use the dash F flag colon. And you'll see it return the second column now based off the colons. We can also return the first column by just doing dollar sign one. Frank testing one. Hello world test one two three testing. 